Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my July update for the 50 Shades of Purple Project pan. This is a Pantastic Ladies collab that was started by Jessica, Amanda, and Cece, and they are all linked down below. If you guys want to join along, please feel free to. It is open to anybody who wants to do this. We are three months into this project. It started April 15th. It ends on April 15th of 2022. So we do still have nine months left to work on these items. Just pick 50 items that have purple in the packaging, purple in the name, or purple products themselves, or the product itself can be purple. So join us if you would like to. Um, before I get into my update, let me quickly tell you what I am wearing on my eyes for the 365 days of eyeshadows. I am wearing two Glam Light palettes, Glam Light Burger Slider and the Glam Light Street Taco palettes. I did start off the look by taking the shade Limon and uh, running this th uh, through my um, upper lid, not upper lid. <laughs> I use this as my first transition shade. There we go. And then I decided to darken it up with the shade Lettuce. And of course, when I was doing this, I accidentally, well, when I was um, putting these two palettes together, I accidentally took the edge of the taco palette and just crushed the shade lettuce. So I have the shade lettuce again through blended throughout uh, my um, crease and uh, I'm gonna have to repress that or something because I'm making a mess there. And then as you could see the two greens are not very deep. So I took these two uh, browns right here. This one I think is pollo and this one is carne asada and I did mix these two in my outer V and kind of through my crease. I was just trying to find some color in these palettes that would um, deepen it up a little bit without dipping into another palette. Then for my crease, I have the shade Carnitas on the outer portion of my eyelid and then on the inner portion, I have the shade Guacamole. So now I want to eat some tacos after reading all of those names. I hope I said the names correctly. I'm, I'm sure my accent was off. I did take Spanish in high school and in college. That was years ago. I do remember some Spanish and how to pronounce things, but um, I'm not very fluent in Spanish. I understand a little bit more than I speak, but I know people look at me and think I'm Hispanic. I am not. I have zero Hispanic blood in me whatsoever. I just, um, living in California, a lot of people assume that I am, but... Um, anyway, those are the eyeshadows. So if you speak Spanish and I didn't pronounce it properly, I am very sorry. <laughs> I tried. And then for the 365 days of lippies, I'm wearing a Fenty Beauty gloss balm on my lips. I'll put the name up on the screen. I love the Fenty Beauty gloss balm formula. Um, it's just a light wash of color and it stays on my lips for such a long time. So um, one more thing. Before we get into this update, I did want to let you guys know that I did get a chance to go out to Las Vegas to go visit my son and my grandson and his girlfriend. I had a lot of fun out there. I pre-filmed 12 videos um, so that I could get out there and not have to worry about any of my videos. I actually spent a couple days doing nothing but editing and uploading videos and then scheduling them. So that's when you guys saw all my inventory videos and everything. I was out of town and then, um, like I told you guys in my pan those eyeshadows video. My daughter did just have her wisdom teeth out on Monday. It is now Wednesday. She's doing fantastic. Came through like a trooper, even though she was super, super anxious. I'm so proud of her. She was brave enough to get it done. Thank you guys for all the kind thoughts um, that you have sent her way. She's doing fantastic. So I didn't wear makeup a lot because I was taking care of my daughter because I was out of town. In Vegas, it was so hot. I don't know that I will ever go to Vegas in July again. Um, it was 118 degrees, which for those of you who go by Celsius is about 48 degrees. At night, it cooled down to about 102, 105 degrees. I say cool down, um, which is about 40 degrees Celsius. So it was miserably hot out there. And I knew that if I stepped outside with any makeup on, it was just literally going to melt off my face. So I just haven't worn makeup for a while now. So if some of these numbers look off, maybe not in this project, but in other projects, you'll know why I had many non-makeup days. So after that huge long-winded introduction, let's go ahead and get into my progress. I will show you guys the items I have worked on this month. If you wanna see all 50 of the items, my playlist is linked down below. You can go down there and see everything. I'm just showing you the items I worked on. So let's start with the skincare, hair care items. I did start working on my Bath & Body Works uh, shower gel in A Thousand Wishes. When I rolled it in, it was right up here. Where is it? Here. 
and I have used it five times, so it's gone down just the smallest amount, but I am starting to rotate between this and then the bubble bath that I'm working on in my Mission 100% Cruelty Free Project Pan, um, and I just rotate between those two. Next is my uh, Hemp's Pomegranate Herbal Body Moisturizer. I do use this as a hand lotion. I had used this one 47 times as of the last update. I did my mark right here, but this was right side up. Now it's upside down and it's down to here after using it an additional 64 times. Um, this is all up on the sides, but this is where I actually am. So 111 uses and I'm down to here. I really think this will be an empty for the next update. Next, I started using my mud mask from the brand Yes2. Um, this is kind of a pinky iridescent mud mask, which is why they probably call it a unicorn mud mask because of the coloring. I have used this one twice. Um, I have no way of marking anything because this packaging is completely opaque. Even with the light, you cannot see anything through it. So for this one, we're just going to go by weights. So two uses on that one and going. And then I also have the Yes2 uh, Brightening Vitamin C Glow Boosting Unicorn Transforming Clay Cleanser. I had 30 previous uses on this. I have used it an additional 41. You can see it's getting thinner. Again, we're going by weights because I can't see through the packaging. So 71 uses on this and it is still going probably for another couple months before this one is gone. I do really enjoy that. Next is my toner from Murad, the hydrating toner right here. As of the last update, I had 56 uses on it to get down to here. I have used it an additional 40 uses and now I am all the way down to here. So I've gotten 110 uses on this so far. I'm missing a mark. I don't know, I had used it 14, I don't know why. Sometimes my nail polish marks come off, so anyway. <laughs> 110 uses on this one, and this one will probably be done in about two more months. And then for my eye cream, it's my Tatcha the Silk Peony Eye Cream. I am really enjoying this. I got this as a free gift for a makeup class. I had 78 uses on this previously. I have used it an additional 52, and it has barely gone down at all. It is still pretty full in the packaging. I've used this 130 times, and you can barely tell it's not even halfway down into the packaging. So this one, even though it is expensive, lasts a very long time. You need the smallest amount of this one. Um, I am really enjoying it. This is an amazing eye cream. Next, let's go into the hair stuff. So the Garnier hairspray that I have right here. I had previously used it 17 times. I have only used it four times, so I'm down to here. Just the smallest amount of progress. I've gotten 21 uses on this. I told you guys I'm not big on hairspray, but hey, if I hadn't put it in the project, I wouldn't have this much of it used up. So I can't complain. So uh, I'm just slowly plugging away at that one. Um, yeah, we'll just see if I'm able to get it done by the end of the year or not. Next is my Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Frizz Control Sculpting Gel. Absolutely love this. As of the last update, I had 12 uses. I was down to here. I have used it an additional 18 uses and I am jumped all the way down to here. Love this product. I will continue to repurchase this one. I have 30 uses on this one and I cannot recommend this product enough. The next product is my first empty. It's my It's a 10 Miracle Silk Leave-In Conditioner. As of the last update, I had used it 10 times to get down to here. I have used it an additional 11 times and it is completely empty. So I got 21 uses out of this. Absolutely loved it. It smells amazing. It does a great job helping me get all the tangles out of my hair. This is an amazing product. I really like this one. So this is my first empty. So I think this is empty number three so far in this project. And now let's go ahead and get into the makeup. The first one that I have started working on is the Luscious Angel Eyes Eyeshadow Primer Base. This obviously wasn't brand new when I rolled it into this project, but I've gotten 23 uses on this one so far. I do like this one. Just if you're using this one, you have to put the tiniest amount and sheer it out a lot. Otherwise, it'll make your whole eye look look orange. You can see that it is a colored product. Um, and so unless you want your eyeshadow look to start off that color, you need to share it out by using the smallest amount. Because if you take this and you have it on thick and then you put like a cream eyeshadow base on to set it down, your cream eyeshadow base will go orange. So 
be careful when using this one. Um, 23 uses on that one, and that one's gonna last for months. Next is my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Light Bronzer. My goal for this is to hit pan. As of the last update, I had used it 31 times. This month, I have used it an additional 24, and this is what it is looking like. So 55 uses, and it's just barely starting to show some wear. I feel like some of the wavy patterns starting to come off here in the middle, but this one is going to take quite a while to hit pan. I think that puts me at 55 uses. Um, yeah, and I don't think I'm anywhere near hitting pan, so this one's going to be in here for a while. The next product is my ColourPop Creme Gel Color in the shade Charmer. It is this beautiful uh, kind of purpley color right here. I had previously used this one 12 times. I have used it for an additional 18, so I'm at 30 uses so far. And it's really dark. You guys may not be able to see, but it's got a pretty decent dip in here. My goal is to use this one 50 times, so I do have an additional 20 uses to go on this one before this will be done for this project. Next is my other empty. This is the Juvia's Place, the, Nubi the Nubian Nourishing Lip Balm in Berry. As of the last update, I was to here. I had used this one 23 times. I have used it an additional 73 times, and I have finished it. So that's 96 uses. I did scrape out a bit of the, the base in there, so this one is empty. This you have to reapply very often and it does not last on your lips very long. I'm honestly a little bit disappointed in this formula. Juvia's Place does have squeezy tube lip balms, which I do have, and I'm hoping that that's a better formula than this. I have at least six more of these that I need to get through, and I will get through them, but this one I wasn't that impressed with. Um, 96 uses. I don't know what the value is or if that's good value for money, but like I said, it doesn't last very long, and you can see how big this packaging is. And this is what how much product you get full from here down to the base of this yellow tape. So you don't get a lot of product either. So this one, I'm going to be honest and say this one disappointed me uh, a bit. So that is my fourth empty total for this project. Next is my Becca highlighter in Prismatic Amethyst right here. As of the last update, I used it four times and it looked brand new. I have since used it an additional nine times, and this is what it is looking like. So only 13 uses. You can see, if it would focus, the smallest a bit of wear on it. Um, 13 uses, and my goal is to finish. This is going to be in here for months to come. I am actually wearing it today. It does kind of leave a little bit of a purple sheen on my cheeks, but I don't think it looks strange or anything like that. If the light catches it right, you can see the bit of purple in it, but I do really like this one. So I'm going to keep working on this one. The final product is my L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara in the shade Burgundy. As of the last update, I had used it 35 times. I have used it an additional 24, so 59 uses, and this one is still going strong. I'm going to use this one at least probably another two months. Um, I've used it a little over two months. The first month I got eight uses, then 27, then 24, so I'm going to call it two months. Um, I'm probably going to use it at least another two months unless it starts flaking on me or anything like that, and then I will call it done, but so far 59 uses. It's still going. I've used up about three and a half total grams, so there is still lots more product in here, um, so we're going to see how long this one lasts before I call it done. So, like I said, two empties. I'm at four empties total out of 50 and we're three months into this project. I have to step it up um, and I will. Um, some of these products, obviously I'm waiting to start because I have other projects that are ending before this one. So if I have a lotion in that one, I'm focusing on those lotions rather than the lotions in here and things like that. So I have no doubt I will get there eventually, but for right now I am starting off this project a little bit slow, but it will pick up momentum. So if you guys don't want to miss out on any of my project panning content, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. While you're down there, ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And thank you so much for stopping by.